Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the shell molding process. It is one of the molding process which differs from the green sand molding and dry sand molding because a fine sand of 5 to 10 percentage of the thermocytic phenolic resin that is actually a binder is mixed together and poured over the heated metal. This is the difference. This uh, process involves the pattern that is the heated pattern is placed in a uh, over a container containing the mixture of uh, sand and a phenolic resin. Example here the container containing a sand plus resin plus binder the heated metal pattern is placed over the container. After that, the container is rolled over so that this mixture is fell down over the heated pattern. This forms a layer of uh, sand mixture over the heated pattern. After that, it is cured. The skin of about 3.5 mm sand or plastic mixture is other to the pattern. This thickness depends upon the time of contact um, that um, contact with the heated pattern. After that, uh, once more heating is applied uh, for about 3 minutes at uh, 420 degrees Celsius, the shell is cured. After that, it is take down. The two halves are prepared for making a mold. Once the metal solidifies, the shell is broken. This is explained in this picture. After that, uh, the shell is cured and taken out and two shells are prepared. After that, it is merged together to form a complete mold cavity and molten metal is poured over it. And finally, uh, after it cools down, the casted metal is taken out. The advantage is, is better surface finish because machining cost is totally reduced, less sand is used, high throughput due to re reduced cycle times and complex products pro are produced with high dimensional tolerance and uh, it is a cost effective process I, uh, even if it is uh, a high capital investment is required. The cleanup costs uh, and reduced machining is compensated. So, yes, this process also has a disadvantage that the high pattern cost and resin cost, it needs a uh, high capital cost um, for the preparation of the shell and uneconomical for small runs. It is applicable only for the large runs because if you produce 100 shells and making um, cast iron metal in uh, one run, it is cost effective rather than making a one shell for a only one casted product is quite difficult and cost uh, needed for this huge cost is needed and size of casting is limited dust and fume problems are there it is a relatively slow process yes uh, we want to make a shell uh, after that only molten metal is poured into the uh, mold, mold, molding cavity then it is usually uh, used for production of the prototypes with high dimensional accuracy so this is a short video friends if you like this video please hit a thumbs up button and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching